real good fish. Look at this. If I land, it's going to be the biggest one I've ever caught. Hey y'all, I'm Gary with the Catch a Hog YouTube channel. And today, I'm going to be trout fishing in southeast Oklahoma. And what I have in this little, little can here is some, uh, got some black flies. And uh, I think I'm going to put them on this little drop shot, make a little drop shot out of these little black flies and see if I can't entice something to bite you see that little thing right there first thing i need to do is i gotta mash the barb down on this little thing if i can even see it because i believe you're not supposed to have any barbs in this section of the river which is uh something you really gotta pay close attention to depending on where you're fishing because there's different laws everywhere you go some areas you can use loud bait some areas you can't so i think this one has the uh no barb no barb rule so i'm going to tie a little short drop shot up on here real quick if i can see this i'm not going to make it very long like the leader very long at all maybe six inches that old hook's rusty that probably ain't much good the dang feathers get all in my knot so now after i got my polymer tied on this little hook i want that thing to face up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to the hook point the hook is up like this i'm going to go back down through the top of that if i can get that in there okay now that's going to make that hook stand up and that's the way we want it because we want to hook those fish in the top of the mouth so now we'll squish a little barb or a little weight on there um, I just got a little round little weight and uh, I'm just gonna mash it on there so that if I get it hung it'll come off and I won't break my hook off I'm using six pound line so there's what we're going to start out with and see what see what happens now what i'm going to try to target is little slack areas where these boulders where that current's washing across them you can see over on that side there's a really good little eddy a little slack area i can't get over there without making a long cast i'm just gonna pitch it out there and see what happens kind of let it drift down drift down through the rocks i'm just kind of keeping tension on it I think I had a fish on it right there. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure. Well, I already hung it up. <laughs> I may have too heavy of a weight on there. Oh, I got it loose. Oh, I got it loose and then got it hung up again. I got it. Kind of hold it in one spot here and see what happens. I wouldn't imagine you'd have to wiggle it too much because that current's going to kind of, kind of make that thing wiggle around. I might have to keep reeling it looks like and just kind of let it bounce off the bottom a little here and there i'm not sure what this little thing's going to represent some sort of fly but being february there may not be many flies out there That must not look like anything they want. Well, I've tried this about 15 minutes and hadn't had a bite. So I'm gonna change colors here. I've got some that are gray. Little bitty gray looking thing. Right there, whitish gray, kinda. All right, now I got a little, you can see it's a little white, little grayish looking jig on there now. So we'll see if that mimics anything. I found a little teeny weeny fly wing when I was tying this on. I don't know if it's gonna mimic a fly or what. We'll see. They definitely didn't want the black one.
Whew. I don't trout fish too good today. Not with this stuff. Either they ain't biting or I just suck. All right, so I'm getting desperate. I got this little orange crappie jig out now. Got the barb mash down on it. And uh, I'm gonna try it. I'm running out of time out here. I'm about, got about an hour left. See if they bite this. If not, I might have to go to a spinner. I know they like spinners. That thing sure is big and bright. I don't know in this clear water. That may be a joke. I thought they might think it was a crawdad or something, but sure does shine in that water. I don't know. All right, the, the orange one didn't work. We're trying the green one now. Having to move fast. It may be the time of day. I don't know. The sun is bright. I can tell you that. All the shade is on the other side. I would think they like shade, but you would think at the bottom of these deeper holes, they'd be sitting in there. It's hotter than the Dickens down in here to be February. Well, y'all, I've tried everything I have in my bag except for this little rooster tail spinner. I'm gonna try it again. It, it always seems to catch them. So I've got 30 minutes left till I gotta meet my meet my wife. So I, I'm gonna see what I can do with that. <laughs> I can't believe I can't catch them on anything else. It's crazy. Okay, you better about this thing, you crazy things. Oh, we got something. We finally got us a fish. Golly, it took a long time to get that one. This looks like a good one too, man. Real good fish. Look at this. If I land, it's going to be the biggest one I've ever caught. Man, it's nice. Golly, the colors are awesome. Come here, you. Look at this. What a beautiful trout this is. Come here, you. Look at this. The colors on this thing are freaking awesome. You don't want to give up, man. Come here. Dang, he's strong. Come here, you. Dang. I'm keeping pressure on him. Look at this. Holy smokes. Oh. 
what a fish this is. I mean, this is a trophy in my book for me. Look at that. Holy crap. Come here, you. Wow. What a trout. Don't you dare jump. He's gonna jump on me. Look at this fish. Hey, Dang, gum it. Oh, shoot, he got away. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, son. If anybody knows what makes them have, some of them have better colors on them than the other. I'd appreciate that in the comments. Let me know why some of them are really pretty like that and others aren't. Well, y'all caught that. To me, that, that was a trophy size trout in my book. I mean, I don't catch very many like that. I've only been a few times and uh, waited till the last 10 minutes. And I mean, I am cutting it short. I got to get back. My wife's going to jerk a knot on my head for sure if I don't get there, meet her where, where we said we was going to meet. So if you made it this far, I sure appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for joining me.